I mentioned briefly David Rock's scarf model um, at the beginning, and it's something that I would use a lot for myself. It, it was really helpful for me to frame and contextualize change. Um, so he talks about five pillars of identity, status, certainty, autonomy, relatedness, and fairness. And this is really relevant to what you're saying about change, because when those pillars are adversely impacted, when, you know, we're put in a, a, a position where our status or a sense of understanding certainty, what's happening next, our autonomy or control, how people relate to us, fairness, when they're adversely impacted, the hormones that are released in our brain are stress hormones. So uh, adrenaline, cortisol, for example, yeah that go straight to the limbic system, the back of your brain, and puts you into a threat situation. So, you know, you, you will have heard, of course, of fight or flight or freeze or now submit or fawn um, as being stress responses to try to help you regulate. Um, so if you have change that, that has been thrust upon you, your sense of certainty and your sense of autonomy are definitely going to be impacted. Um, your sense of status may well be impacted as, as, as part of that. So all of those things you're trying to regulate, you're trying to get back um, into a position where you feel in control again. So that is going to need to be addressed first. And one of the things if you're managing groups of people to understand is you can't sort of um reason people out of you know but just look look at look at the long view until you address the threat um nobody's yeah. going to be able to think because when when people feel that they have certainty autonomy status relatedness fairness the hormones that are released um serotonin oxytocin you know they, they they're in the front part of your brain that's where you think that's where you can be creative that's where you learn